I just discovered 10 CapCut hacks that are total game changers for video editing. You can see the full list along with the timestamps right here. And the best part, most of the tricks work on both the mobile and desktop version of CapCut, so no matter what you're using, you're covered. Let's dive in. First, I'll show you how to create rounded corners. It's a super trendy effect for short clips right now and really handy to know. Once you import the video into CapCut, select it and go to the mask option. From there, choose the rectangle mask and adjust its size as needed. Then move the slider upward to control how round you want the corners to be. It's quick and easy to customize. Once you've made your adjustments, the video is ready. Here is the final result. Now that you learned how to create rounded corners, let's dive in into something even cooler, creating a 3-layer video. It's a total upgrade for making your short form content more engaging. First, tap on new project and select the 3 videos or photos you want to use for your video. For this tutorial, I'll be using photos. Next, click on the collage button at the bottom of the screen to move on to the next steps. Here, select the first format, then choose the 9 by 16 ratio which is perfect for short form videos. Now you can position the videos however you like by simply dragging them around. Once you're happy with the placement, tap continue and your video will open on the timeline ready for editing. Just click here if you want to make the duration of your videos same. Here you can easily align the clips just like I did. Now let's move on to the next trick. How to turn your regular product photos into professional looking shots with just a few simple steps. On CapCut's homepage, tap expand, then choose the product photo feature. After that, select the photo you want to enhance. Just tap edit and then choose one of the AI backgrounds provided. Next, select your product, adjust its size and position to your liking, then save it. Here is what the final result looks like. Now, let's jump into how to highlight text in CapCut and make it stand out. Tap the text tab, then select the draw option. Choose this brush, pick a color to your liking, then adjust the size and set the opacity to about 30. Once you're ready, just drag over the text to highlight it. Save and then we will select the animation tab. Select the blur vibe right animation and adjust its duration below. Then align the effect with your video and pick the out animation you like. I chose the fade out animation and here is how the highlighted text effect should look like after editing. Now let's spice things up with a color scanning effect that will make your video super dynamic. I'm going to add it to this car video. First, select the video and duplicate it. Next, find the overlay option, select it and place the second video below the main video. The next step is to tap on the overlay video and select the remove background option. Then choose custom removal, adjust the brush size and highlight the object in the video. Carefully highlight every section of the object as I'm doing in this video, then save and go back. Now go to the effects tab and in video effects type color scanning in the search bar. Then choose one of the first three effects. Save and then align it with your video. Now the effect looks like this. If you want it applied only to the object in the video, tap object, select overlay video and save. Then go to adjust to fine tune the settings to your liking. Let me show you the next trick. Creating a stunning sci-fi scene reveal effect to give your video a futuristic vibe. Go to effects, select video effects, type sci-fi in the search bar and choose the sci-fi scan effect. Save, then tap on the effect to choose a color and adjust the settings to your liking. Here is the final result. Next, I'll show you how to create a classic typewriter effect that's perfect for adding a dynamic and professional touch to your text. Tap on the text tab and add your text. The next step is to choose a font, position the text where you want and adjust the other settings to your liking. Now, we need to select typewriter in animation in the animations tab and set its duration. Then choose the out animation that fits your style. Save and then go back and then we will select the sound effect for the in animation that we added. Tap the audio tab then search for a typing sound effect in sound effects that matches the typewriter effect. I will choose this one. 
click on the plus button to add it to the timeline. The next step is to cut the sound effect at the point where the typewriter animation ends, then remove the part after the animation. After editing the animation should look like this. Next trick is how to make a cool 3D spinning logo animation, no after effects needed, and here is how. Tap on overlay and add the logo as an overlay to the timeline. I'm using the CapCut logo, but you can use any logo or photo you like. Set the duration to about 2 seconds, then tap the animations tab and select combo. The next step is to choose the flip 6 animation and then save. Now duplicate the video a few times to make the 3D spinning animation last longer. Here is how it should look after editing. You can't miss the next trick. Let's create a social media lover turd to showcase your candle or brand in a clear and professional way. We'll use the PixArt and CapCut apps for this trick. First open PixArt, tap the plus button and choose blank. Now scroll to the right side and tap on Shapes tab. Here you'll find many shapes to create interesting animations in CapCut. I chose this one. Adjust and position the shape, then tap anywhere around it. After that press the download button at the top of the screen to save it. The next step is to find the social media icon. Go to shapes, then in the logos tab find the icon you want. I chose the YouTube logo. After that position it and save it. Once that's done, open CapCut, tap on new project and add the elements you downloaded from PixArt. Select the logo, then tap the overlay option and position it like I did. Next, adjust the duration of the elements to your liking. Now position the logo on the left side like I did, after that we will select the animations. Tap on the animations tab and select an in animation. I chose the zoom in animation. After that select the out animation, I chose the zoom out animation but you can choose whichever you prefer. When you are done save it. The next step is to tap on the shape clip and select animations. I chose a flip animation for both the beginning and end of the video. Now let's go back and position the playhead at the point where the in animation end. After that we will add the text. I added my username. After that we need to select black color and font we like. The next step is to select in and out animations in the animations tab. Adjust the duration of the text, then go back and tap on the background tab. Here tap on color and select green. This is how my clip looks now. Now we will export it and I will show you how to add it to your videos. Simply tap on overlay and add a clip. The next step is to select remove background and tap on chroma key. Position the color picker on the green, then adjust the intensity and shadows to remove the green color. After that position the overlay clip to your liking. Here is how the animation looks after editing. Now you will learn how to create a progress bar in CapCut. Tap the overlay option and add a gradient background which you can download for free on Unsplash. The link will be in the description of this video. Position it like I did, then align it with your video. The next step is to tap on the mask option, select the linear mask, then rotate it and position it just like I did at the beginning of my clip. After that add a keyframe. Now go to the end of your clip and move the mask all the way to the right. After that save it. The next step is to go back and position the image at the bottom or top of the main video. Here is what the final result looks like. If you want to learn more cool tricks in CapCut, check out the tutorials in one of these playlists. Also, let me know in the comments which trick you like the most.